Well, tens of millions of Americans have diabetes, but studies show that that disease disproportionately affects minority populations. And Fox 9's Bab Santos takes a look at the ethnic disparities seen in diabetes and how we can overcome barriers to better health. It has been an issue, especially in the uh, African-American community for quite a long time. It's not gun violence, but it's just as devastating um, and it's diabetes. In Richfield, Kelmy Dennis's mother, Rosa Daly, learned she had diabetes in 1987, not long after leaving Jamaica and arriving in the United States. Ever since, the 88-year-old's life has been a battle to stay healthy, monitoring her blood sugar. It's up and down, it's up and down. When it's not high, it's low. So you have to know how to control it. Rosa is not at it alone. Her family is filled with brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, aunts, uncles, cousins, and more, all fighting the same battle. Almost all my family members have some trace of diabetes. Interrupting their lifestyle and restricting their diet with the threat of kidney failure, blindness, amputations, heart attacks, and strokes looming over their heads. It is a serious issue. Diabetes occurs more commonly in African Americans at the rate of maybe one and a half to two times. Hennepin Healthcare endocrinologist Dr. Laura Lefebvre says diabetes is associated with a lack of access to healthy food, exercise, and health care. It grips communities of color with a life-changing embrace. In my clinic here in the hospital at Hennepin, um, I would say the majority of the patients that I see for their diabetes are non-white patients. Dr. Lefebvre also sees higher rates among Asians, Latinos, and indigenous people. But now she's encouraging everyone to watch their diet, exercise more, and see a doctor regularly. We can prevent it though. That's the good thing. You know, there's hope out there. In Ridgefield, Bab Santos, Fox 9.